In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Jedi Survivor 3-pack. <laughs> Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Jedi Survivor 3-pack. So this is the first time that we've had figures on the Jedi Survivor card. And I'm going to be interested to check out all of the figures. Essentially, they're all repaints. Let's not beat around the bush. They are all repaints in this pack. We've had all these sculpts before, but it'll be interesting to have a look at the figures anyway. I got mine from Star Action Figures here in the UK. So if you've ordered from them, I would imagine that you will receive yours anytime soon. I've also seen other people from the UK get theirs from other retailers. And also, if you are in the US, you can order this from entertainment earth and there is a link in the description below all right then, so first off let's look at the packaging so this is one of these special action figure three packs with the three languages on there we've seen very similar with the skiff guard three pack and also the bad batch four pack and i think there is also an obi-wan version of this as well another three pack i do like the way they do these because i like to get three carded figures and it is my understanding as well that these are going to be unpunched cards as well so there's the back of the packaging so you can see there the vintage collection logo and you've got the three figures that we're getting here we're getting a riot scout trooper a magna guard and a kx security droid i seem to remember the riot scout trooper being in the original game the fallen order game can't remember if the other two were or not i don't think the kx security droid was anyway and this is the gaming greats as you can see there so all three of these figures are gaming greats. They're all going to be in the Jedi Survivor game. And we're also getting Cal Kestis in the next wave as well, which is going to be an all new figure from the Jedi Survivor game. A little bit annoying because we all really wanted him from the Jedi Fallen Order game. But there you go. So we're just going to open this up now, check out the three card backs. And we also will be opening the figures off their card backs to check out the figures as well. All right then, so here are the three carded figures out of that box. And we're gonna start off from left to right. We're gonna start off with the Magna Guard on the Jedi Survivor card back. There he is, awesome looking image on the card back there. And this one is VC 188. So it's filling in that number that we were missing for absolutely ages. We've got the Gaming Greats logo there, Vintage Collection, and the three figures from that set basically. And that's about it on the back of the card. But that image there is pretty good. Now, I don't have a Magna Guard loose from the original Vintage Collection, so I'm very, very happy to have this one in particular. I'm guessing this one will be pretty good for an army builder, along with all of them, in fact. They're all sort of army builder figures. Um, you know, buying multiples of this three-pack, though, is going to be pretty expensive. So I'm not going to be personally doing that. I'm going to have one set carded, one set opened, and that is it. So Jedi Survivor on the card. He's looking pretty good there. Um, it, as I said, it'd be interesting to see what he is like in the game. The KX security droid is basically K2SO with a backpack and a staff with a slightly different color scheme. As I mentioned, they're all repaints this, this pack. So there he is there on the card back. Half decent card back again. I've got to be honest. I mean, the, the gaming figures for me, they're, they're like an extra. I'm not really too bothered either way um they're good army builder figures but for me i would rather have figures in the main line and you know new figures from new media and things like that the games really do sort of come quite far down on my list of the things that i want in the vintage collection apart from like the main characters like cal kestis and what have you because then you can always put him up against other scout troopers that you've got you know use ktso as a security droid i don't really see these are you know that necessary but as I say, some people might want these for army building. Uh, VC256, that one. And there's the card back for that guy. And then finally, the worst of the bunch for me is the Riot Scout Trooper. The card back isn't too bad, I guess. Once again, the Jedi Survivor logo. And essentially, he is the same as the previous gaming greats figure that we got. Um, but he's got a Riot Shield. But he does also come with the Blaster this time, which was a complaint that I had with the previous gaming greats of the Scout Trooper. This one comes with the blaster, which is one thing, I guess. But he is VC255. All right, then. So there they are. There's the card backs from the set. We're going to open them all up now, line them up, take a good close look at the figures. Yeah, and we'll check them out. Okay, then. So here is all three figures out of the packaging. We've got the Magna Guard. We've got the Security Droid. And we've got the Biker Scout or Scout Trooper Riot Gear, as it were. Now, I actually quite like the shield on this guy. It's got a good design, which I'll show you in a minute. That attaches to his hand and his wrist so that's pretty cool 
But apart from that, it is pretty much the same figure that we got in the previous gaming greats, which is a bit disappointing, really. And also, I think with the Biker Scout, it needs a new sculpt. And I'm hoping that when the one comes out next year with the speeder bike, that we actually get, you know, an updated figure. I think it's going to be updated in some respects, not all new, but we'll have to wait and see how much of it is new. I always felt that the Scout Trooper helmet was on the small side on these guys, so maybe they can improve on that. Now, the one I really wanted to take a look at was the Magna Guard because I don't actually have one of these loose in my collection already. Plus, he has a bit of soft goods as well. But there's one thing to note really about the K2 droid or the security droid, and that is the backpack is actually attached to his back. It's molded on. I could not get that off. It is not removable. I thought it would be because I thought they would have used the same, you know, sculpt as the K2SO figure and then drilled out a piece in his back. But that, to me, seems like it's either sculpted on or, or glued on or something. I couldn't get it off on mine anyway, and I didn't want to sort of try too hard because I didn't want to break it. But that looks like it's fixed. Apart from that, he's got some colouring on his shoulder there. Some red and some red around his arms, around the armpits, if you like. But that is really the only difference between him and K2SO. I think K2SO might have yellow eyes unfortunately i haven't got that figure right now with me to compare them but essentially it's the same sculpt but with a backpack so he also comes with the baton as well with the like electro staff exactly the same one that comes with the scout trooper so let's move the these two out the way because i'm not really too concerned with these two and i want to take a closer look at the magna guard and there he is looking pretty awesome let's take the uh, soft goods off the head so we can really see that head there Pretty nice paintwork. I do like the sort of breathing apparatus on their mouths. He looks pretty cool. Let me just turn him around. You can see all that soft goods there. And I'm guessing that's going to be like a hood thing that you can take off. It's wrapped around his arm. You can see some of the detailing on the back of the figure there. You've got, uh, again, a bit of red paint. Yellow dot in the center. Same color as his eyes. And he's got this like electro staff thing with these weird plastic things on the end, which do come off, but they are accurate to the source material. If you look on the card back, he does have these sort of plastic things, but look, if you just take them off, you're left with a piece of plastic like that. And it's almost like a sort of pen lid or something. And then that just goes back on, clips in quite nicely. And there he is holding it in both hands. He holds it pretty well. So I think he looks pretty good. This is definitely my favorite of the three and he's gonna look great in the collection. So we'll just take a look at the articulation very quickly. Okay, so the head is on a on a ball there. So you've got plenty of motion with that. You have shoulders on a ball hinge. So they go all the way round. We have a hinge on the elbow. We have a swivel at the sort of upper arm, nothing at the wrist. We have a ball joint on his torso. We have ball hinges at his waist then we have the knee hinge there as well and we have a hinge at the ankle as well so pretty much all the articulation you're going to need with one of these droids and i i really do like this one as i said this is probably my favorite of the three the scout trooper i'm not too bothered about it's good to get some more uh, like k2 type droids you know the imperial security droids do love those designs they're great um just very quickly i'm just going to show you the design for the shield so if we just move his arm out like that, you can see he's holding like a piece there and then that piece goes around his wrist like that. So we'll just move that, that out of the way so you can really see the two pieces there. You've got that piece that goes around the wrist and the thing that he holds onto. So that's, you know, he's got plenty of control when he's using that and that's just got a piece of red paint apps on it. And it's just hard, hard white plastic. But take that away and that is pretty much exactly the figure that you got in the previous gaming greats line so uh yeah i believe he was a jedi fallen order figure wasn't he so this is the jedi survivor version with the shield you've got the magna guard and you've got the security droid with all the red paint apps but yeah so i've seen better three packs obviously the skiff guard three pack was brilliant um, the Bad Batch one was great as well, although that was some, you know, repainted clones. 
This one for me is the worst of those. I'm looking forward to getting the Obi-Wan though because the Obi-Wan series three pack, there are actually some figures in there that I kind of want. I want the Obi-Wan Kenobi in the blue tunic and the Purge Trooper looks pretty cool. This set for me is just okay. If you want to army build these figures, then it'll be really good for you. If you want the carded figures, just buy the one set. And I think that's probably what most people will do. Um, we'll have to see. So there you go then, guys. That is the Jedi Survivor 3 pack. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support means a great deal to me on this channel. So thank you for the support. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And we shall see you on the next one.